Hi everyone. This is the question which we are going to discuss today. In this question, we are given an isosceles triangle with AB is equal to AC. BD length is given as forty-eight one by sixty-one. This is a mixed mixed fraction, and DC length is sixty-one. This ED is eleven units, and AD. Is perpendicular to C. C is perpendicular to AD. It's given here. We have to find the length of A. Only A. We have two methods how to find the length of A. One is Pythagoras theorem, and the other is Stewart theorem. So first of all, we will do by uh, using Stewart theorem, and before using that. Let's discuss what is Stewart theorem. For Stewart theorem, in a triangle ABC, if AD is any line segment from vertex A to BC, and this AB length of AB side is C, length of AC side is B, and BD is M, DC is N, and length of BC is M plus N, and this length of AD is D. So according to Stewart theorem, b square into n plus b square into m equal to b c. This b c means sum of m and n, and this a d square means length of a d is d. So d square plus product of these two parts that is m n. This is well known Stewart theorem. We can derive this theorem by using Pythagoras theorem. So we are going to use this theorem in the question which we are going to discuss. So using Stewart theorem here, let us suppose this AB length is A, and this length is A also because the two sides AB and AC are equal. And let us suppose A, which is to be found, is B. So, if we use Pythagoras theorem in this, so EC square is equal to DC square minus D square. DC is sixty one, sixty one square minus eleven square. That is sixty one plus eleven and sixty one minus eleven. Sixty one plus eleven is seventy two. Sixty one. Minus eleven is fifty. Half it double it, so that is three six zero zero. So therefore, CE is equal to square root of three thousand six hundred, which is sixty units. So we found this as sixty. So by using Stewart theorem, this a square into sixty one plus this a square into this, and if we simplify this mixed fraction, we are getting two nine two nine by sixty one. Two nine two nine by sixty one. So if we use Stewart theorem, this a square into sixty one plus this a square into two nine two nine by sixty one, that is equal to this thing is two nine two nine sixty one plus sixty one two nine. By sixty one plus sixty one, this is whole BC length that is m plus n into this b plus eleven the whole square into the bracket and plus product of these two m n. So this is two nine two nine by sixty one into sixty one. These two will get cut. If we take a square common, a square sixty one plus two nine two nine by sixty one is equal to this two nine two nine by sixty one plus sixty one, and this thing b plus eleven the whole square plus only two nine two nine. These two will get cancelled from both the sides, 
and this a square is equal to b square plus 60 square because this is also a right angle triangle so substituting a square as b square plus 60 square so this a square is b square plus 60 square which is 3600 is equal to if we simplify this so b square plus 2b 121 plus 2929 this b square and this b square will get cancelled it is 3600 is equal to this and plus this if we add 22b plus 30 and 20 50 30 50 so 22b therefore will be 100 minus 50 is 550 so b is equal to 550 divided by 22 therefore b is equal to 11 twos are 22 and 5 are 50 by 2 which is 25 units so this is the answer so b is equal to 25 so this a length of a is equal to 25 units by using Pythagoras theorem we first draw the perpendicular this will be the midpoint of BC here is the diagram this is perpendicular drawn let us suppose this is here is E and we have already used this as B this as A A this is 48 1 by 61 and from here to here it is 61 61 and this we found as 60 this is 11 a square is b square plus 60 square which is 3600 let us suppose this is this bd is x and this dc is y so if we draw perpendicular this P, so AP is perpendicular bisector of this actually. So this this BP is equal to X plus Y by 2. So BP is equal to PC is equal to X plus Y by 2. And DP is equal to this DP only. This DP is equal to x plus y by 2 minus x if we use this this triangle if we use Pythagoras theorem in this triangle b plus 11 the whole square is equal to this dp square plus h square x dp square plus h square so x plus y by 2 minus x the whole square this is dp square plus h square this h square is a square minus this pc square h square is a square minus pc square and a square is b square plus 3600 so this is dp square and h square is a square plus pc square but a square is b square plus this so a square minus pc square and minus pc is x plus y by 2 the whole square so if we open this x plus y by 2 the whole square plus x square and minus 2 times product of these two so 2 and 2 will get cut so minus x x plus y only plus b square plus 3600 minus x plus y by 2 the whole square these two will get cancelled and this is b plus 11 the whole square actually this x square minus x into x x square so these two will get cancelled minus xy plus b square if we simplify this so we are getting b square plus 22b 
प्लस वन ट्वेंटी वन इज इक्वल टू माइनस एक्स वाई प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री सिक्स जीरो जीरो दीज टू बी स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर विल गेट कैंसल्ड नाउ ट्वेंटी टू बी प्लस वन ट्वेंटी वन माइनस दिस इज टू नाइन टू नाइन बाई सिक्सटी वन वाई इज सिक्सटी वन एंड प्लस थ्री सिक्स जीरो जीरो दीज टू विल गेट कैंसल्ड सो वी आर गेटिंग ट्वेंटी टू बी इज इक्वल टू थ्री सिक्स जीरो जीरो माइनस ट्वेंटी नाइन ट्वेंटी नाइन एंड दिस माइनस ऑल्सो सो इफ वी एड वन ट्वेंटी वन इन टू नाइन टू नाइन इट इज अगेन कमिंग थर्टी फिफ्टी दैट इज थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड माइनस दिस इज फाइव फिफ्टी वंस अगेन एंड दे आर फोर बी इज इक्वल टू फाइव फिफ्टी डिवाइड बाई ट्वेंटी टू विच इज ऑलरेडी वी फाउंड ट्वेंटी फाइव सो दिस दिस क्वेश्चन solutions one by using stewart theorem other by pythagoras theorem and this is the answer